Hi, this is Lawrence Frontera, also known as Punk Rock Skate Dad on Instagram. Today, I'm going to do one final video, um, and it's going to go over the three classified figures in Fortnite, and I'm just going to quickly go over what I saw and what I like about the two, uh, the two different characters. Now, if you didn't see the previous videos, I've gone over all four characters. Uh, about a month back, I went over this Fortnite character called Havoc who looks exactly like Firefly. And who knows if they're ever gonna make a Firefly, but if you want one to go with your, with your G.I. Joe Classified, this is the perfect guy for it. Um, so quickly, the one thing that people had asked about, and it is on the new G.I. Joe website, where they talk about the characters, they actually, they actually mentioned their height. People were wondering if they were all gonna be the exact same, six inches. Well, as you can tell, they're different sizes. Roadblock is clearly taller than all of them. <laughs> the Havoc, or Firefly, is actually shorter. But Snake Eyes is a little bit taller than Scarlet here, and so forth. So they did get that down. It's nice that they didn't just go straight across like the original G.I. Joe line, um, which obviously was much different because we're talking 30 years ago. But I will say this. The, and I discussed this in the other videos, I like the way they all look. But I wanted to show you how this Havoc slash Firefly looks with the rest of them. So if you're wondering, hey, is he gonna fit in? The only thing that doesn't fully fit in is the gun. It kinda looks campy, but at least it looks like a real gun. Um, that's about the only thing. Um, they look a little bit more serious. He comes with this packaging of Three different, it comes with three different faces. One is his face, which we never saw Firefly, so we don't want to see that. One looks like he's scared, which I've never thought of Firefly as scared. So this is the packaging of the Fortnite character. You can get them on Amazon for like $18 right now. Well worth it. And the packaging of the G.I. Joes is the Snake Eyes. Um, they both come packaged pretty nicely. They open up nicely, and you can take them out nicely without ruining the package. So, for collectors that really do care about not ruining the package and keeping them um, in nice shape, it's a good way to go. So, let's quickly discuss the differences here. And the biggest difference that we see, in my opinion, is the feet. They are kind of big with the Fortnite character. Um, but I don't think anyone's really going to look at it and they're going to think, wow, those feet are just too big to be G.I. Joe. And I also said before in the original, I don't think anyone's going to look at them and wonder why you have a Fortnite character with your G.I. Joes. Another thing that I had mentioned before is the hand. Now, I saw this in another video, and I hadn't had the Snake Eyes yet to know, but his hand opens up and, opens up and closes, which seems like a really good idea, except it's hard for his weapon to stay in his hand. It always seems to open and never be tight enough. So you really have to fight to get it to stay in. Where the G.I. Joes, on the other hand, they're just one mold. They just pop right in. Um, there's opening, no opening and closing, but to be honest, never once, other than when a thumb would break on the original line, was I worried that they didn't open and close. The other thing that I noticed and I discussed is how some of these characters are kind of loose. From Snake Eye's hand just kind of falling to his waist being wobbly, along with uh, the roadblock here, where I think that if we took his vest off, it would be wobbly also, because I did see that in another video. Uh, Scarlet, on the other hand, seems to be nice and solid doesn't seem to move at all uh, she also can't really lift her arms up all that high which I remember having an issue with some of the uh, some other characters over time that were smaller because of the way they made their arms um, really seemed to be like that with a lot of girls as for the Fortnite character I think you've made really well um, He's a harder plastic throughout everything, where a lot of the G.I. Joe parts 
a real soft plastic. The legs, the hands, really soft. So I was having a hard time bending Snake Eyes' knee here. I can't even get one joint to, one joint to turn yet, um, and I'm scared to. But it's soft, and it feels like it's just going to break out, and I don't want to break them. Because, again, I'm not going to play with them. This is for decoration. As for the Fortnite characters, it's all solid plastic, which is pretty nice, to be honest. Um, nothing felt like it was going to break. It moves nice and nice and slowly. They actually kind of pops as it moves. Um, so I'll say this. I think that the Fortnite character is actually made a little bit better. But this is here pretty much to show you that if you want to add a Firefly to your G.I. Joe Classified, this is the perfect character for you. He has a green gun, a lot like the original Firefly, which I think people would like. Um, it's more like a real gun, kind of campy, uh, like oh, some video game type gun, but it's not a laser cannon, which I'll be honest, I'll take this over these laser cannons any day. Um, but it looks like the six inch line is all gonna be laser cannons other than the Snake Eyes um, limited edition that they did. He actually has the Uzi. So anyway, uh, if you guys are interested, if you wanna add a Firefly, if you wanna see how the Fortnite character stacks up, here you can look and you can see that in my opinion, he looks really nice when you line him up with the other characters. And it'll be nice when Destro comes out. They just released Cobra Commander, uh, the first Cobra Commander. They have a second one coming out, uh, a color variant. So it'll be nice when you get some Cobras out there. Um, and Duke should be in for me uh, next week. So I'll do a review on that when he comes in. But if you're interested, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to follow me on Instagram, again, it's Punk Rock Skate Dad. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Take care.